This is topic 2, cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Respiration can be divided into two stages. The first stage is external respiration and also called as breathing. External respiration involved the process of inhalation and exhalation. This is the process of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between an organism and environment. The second stage of respiration is internal respiration or called as cellular respiration. This process happens in cell level. This is the process of oxidation and breakdown of glucose. That occurs in the living cells to release energy. Cells require the energy to perform to life process. In this topic we will only focus on second stage respiration, it is cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is the process of oxidation and breakdown of glucose. That occurs in the living cells to release energy. Human and animal require energy to carry out various activities and living processes. The energy is obtained from the food we take. The body cells break down the food to release energy that required by the body, this is called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration uses the oxygen that we breathe in. And the glucose from food that we have taken. To release energy. Carbon dioxide and water are formed as by-products during the cellular respiration process. In conclusion, cellular respiration can be defined as the reaction between the oxygen and glucose to produce energy, carbon dioxide, and water. Cellular respiration process can be represented by the follows equation. This is one molecule of glucose, C6, H12, O6. Require six molecule of oxygen, which can be represented by symbol O2 to complete a full cellular respiration process. And as an outcome of the process, there will have six molecule of carbon dioxide is produced which can be represented by CO2. Another byproduct of the process is six molecule of water, which can be represented by symbol H2O. And there is amount of 2,898 kJ energy is produced. This means that one molecule of glucose with enough of oxygen is capable to produce 2,898 kJ. For your knowledge, glucose is also known as carbohydrate compound. As it is made up of carbon and water or hydrate molecules. This is the equation that you should memorize for you to understand what is cellular respiration. This is all the content of the topic, cellular respiration. Now, we discuss the photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants make food in the form of glucose. From carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light and chlorophyll. Oxygen is released as the byproduct. Chloroplasts are the structures of plant cells that involved in photosynthesis and contain chlorophyll that absorbs sunlight. Photosynthesis process can be represented by the follows equation. At which, six molecules of water, require six molecules of carbon dioxide for the reaction. In the meantime, it requires the presence of sunlight. And chlorophyll. When photosynthesis process happened, one molecule of glucose and six molecules of oxygen as the byproduct will be produced. This is the equation that you should memorize for you to understand the photosynthesis process. Excess glucose is stored in the form of starch in leaves, stems, fruits and root. To determine if photosynthesis has taken place in a plant, we can test the presence of starch in a leaf using the iodine test. The presence of starch in the leaf can be tested by using the iodine solution after removing the chlorophyll using alcohol. Now, let's discuss the step to get the test done. Step 1. Immerse a leaf into a beaker with boiling water for a few minutes. This is to break down the cell walls and soften the leaf. Step 2. Place the leaf into a test tube containing ethanol and place it into the beaker with hot water for a few minutes. This is to remove the chlorophyll and the leaf will decolor to yellow-brown. Step 3. Dip the decolorized leaf into a beaker with hot water. The purpose is to remove the ethanol from the leaf. Step 4. 
place the leaf to white tile and add a few drops of iodine to the leaf. This is to test the presence of starch on the leaf. If the brown color of the iodine solution turns into blue-black, it proves that starch is present. This is the explanation of the photosynthesis. This topic we discuss, the differences between cellular respiration and photosynthesis. Photosynthesis of green plant produces oxygen and glucose. That required by organisms for cellular respiration to obtain energy. Cellular respiration in organisms released the carbon dioxide, that required by plants for photosynthesis in the presence of light to produce glucose. Both processes of cellular respiration and photosynthesis complement each other for two purposes. First, for the survival of living thing. Second, maintaining the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The follows are the differences between cellular respiration and photosynthesis. The first, about the object of occurrence. Cellular respiration occurs in human and animal living cells. Photosynthesis occurs in all the plant cells that contain chlorophyll. Second, about the site of occurrence. Cellular respiration takes place in mitochondria of cells. Photosynthesis takes place in chloroplasts of plant cells. The third difference is their time of occurrence. Cellular respiration occurs all the time, day and night. Photosynthesis occurs only in the presence of light. The fourth difference is in their process. The cellular respiration is the process of breaking down food. Whereas, photosynthesis is the process of making food. The food here is referring to glucose. The fifth difference is in their input substances. Cellular respiration required oxygen and glucose as the input substances. Whereas photosynthesis required carbon dioxide and water as the input substances. The sixth difference is in their output substances. The cellular respiration will produce carbon dioxide and water. Whereas, the photosynthesis process will produce oxygen and glucose. The seventh difference is in the energy change in the process. During the cellular respiration, energy is released. Whereas, during the photosynthesis, energy is absorbed. The above are the differences between the cellular respiration and photosynthesis process. You can do a pause of the video for your review. The explanation for Topic 2, Cellular Respiration and Photosynthesis, end here. And we have just completed the learning of Chapter 2, Cell as the Basic Unit of Life. Thank you for subscribing and watching.